In 2017, Graham was awarded the contract to widen and rehabilitate several Crow Child Trail bridges in Calgary. The following year, Graham won the contract to rehabilitate Edmonton's Grote Road Bridge over the North Saskatchewan River. Both were technically challenging projects on critical transportation routes that were required to remain open to traffic throughout construction. Originally built during the 1960s, the Crow Child Trail bridges traverse roads, a river, rail, and LRT tracks, and form part of one of Calgary's major north-south thoroughfares, serving over 107,000 vehicles a day. Edmonton's Grote Road Bridge was originally built in 1955, previously rehabilitated in 1989, and is one of the city's few bridges over the North Saskatchewan River, serving over 35,000 vehicles a day. The structures were old. The original drawings were not always accurate, creating numerous unexpected construction challenges. Environmental considerations were high, as the aquatic ecosystems needed to be protected, and all traffic had to remain flowing. Adding an extra lane in either direction along the Crow Child Trail bridges was no easy feat. Our team developed a complex temporary works plan that was robust enough to upgrade and widen the structures, yet sensitive enough to maintain the structural integrity of these old bridges. Since we were not permitted to work in the river, nor impact the LRT or rail tracks below, temporary works were hung off the existing structures. Quite an impressive feat. Innovation was the key to constructing the new bridge components while simultaneously rehabilitating those same structures. Graham delivered the project on budget and was agile in resequencing work repeatedly due to unforeseen conditions. Through our detailed planning of work staging, we kept pedestrians, cyclists, and vehicles moving safely through the active construction site. Access to the surrounding businesses also remained open. Despite the high-risk activities involved in this project, working at heights, over water, over rail, over LRT, over and among high volume traffic, limited workspace, and pedestrian and bike paths, we achieved over 550,000 man hours without a lost time incident, keeping both the public and our people safe. Graham's true partner approach fostered a collaborative team environment amongst all project stakeholders. All parties were committed to a shared goal, to do what was best for the infrastructure and the public, and together, we delivered. Our scope of work was quite different on Edmonton's Grote Road Bridge. The entire superstructure, including girders, bridge deck, and barriers, was demolished and removed, then replaced with new components to extend its service life by at least 50 years. To rehabilitate the nearly 70-year-old bridge, while keeping traffic moving and meeting the city's schedule requirements, we worked closely with our construction engineering partner to design a unique overhead gantry crane system. In this innovative plan, the gantry cranes ran on a custom-built temporary steel track attached to the existing structures. This was the first time a gantry crane was used for segmental demolition and reconstruction of a concrete bridge structure in Canada, minimizing environmental impact as we eliminated the requirement for conventional river berms. This enabled us to meet our client's ambitious schedule. The gantry system also provided safer work conditions for our crews as they were not working below the bridge from a berm. The demolition required near-surgical precision, with the removal of over 400 massive pieces of concrete in a precise order, some as heavy as 80 tons. Using Graham's unique temporary work standard as a framework, we planned the exact demolition and removal sequence of those 400 pieces to maintain the structural integrity of the existing bridge while taking it apart. Our project team replaced the original concrete cast-in-place girders with steel girders to meet today's design standards. And to save time, we developed an accelerated rebuild program. A model of the steel installation was developed. Then the false deck, formwork, and rebar loads were applied during each of the stages of installation to ensure stability of the new steel girders. This allowed false deck, formwork, and rebar installation to progress prior to the completion of girder erection so that concrete pours could immediately follow. The rehabilitation of Crowchild Trail in Calgary and Grote Road in Edmonton presented demanding construction challenges while many were known at the outset, many were not. With the skills to overcome any challenge, even a global pandemic, we innovated to deliver for our clients. Two cities, two critical transportation routes, two concurrent complex projects on aging infrastructure, 
Both remained open to traffic throughout construction. Both are now rehabilitated and better able to meet the current and future needs of their respective cities. Both successfully executed by Graham.